Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with Fishing Planet Classic. We are taking a break from the Fisherman Fishing Planet, Blue Crab Island, to come back here and finish up our zombie cat mission here at Quanchkin Lake. And since Halloween is coming on, we are probably going to start be steering more towards horror-based games and things couple of them I haven't done for a while I thought I'd bring back but of course they always do a Halloween event during this time and that is going to be the centerpiece but anyway guys we're going to come in here to the pelican hut and my understanding is that the cat is found somewhere around in that area pretty close to it if I'm not mistaken it says, after putting much effort into catching those powerful gars, you finally have the bait to distract the scavenging zombie cat from devouring all things dead. Use a zombie bait to catch this monster more than 40 kilograms to finally stop it from spreading the putrid smell around the premises of Quanchkin Lake. Witnesses reported seeing him near the huts. So that is exactly where we need to go. Alright. So let me check my inventory, make sure I have this set up the way I should. Let's see, I got a six odd hook that should get it. A uh, 41 pound titanium leader, 35 pound floral line. I wonder if I should go heavier than that, guys. I don't know, maybe. Can it go heavier than that? Let me see. No, the British Rock can only go to 35 pounds, so we're going to have to make do with that. Should be all right. We should be all right. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump in here in a new private room. All right. Well, I don't know where he may be. Just know that he's near the hut somewhere. Let's see. Well, we could try here. Or we could try here. Well, let's try here. Let's see what, let's see if anything happens here. It was supposed to be raining. I thought it was, but we'll start here in the morning. If it doesn't do anything, then we can always change it to nighttime. I mean, some of these fish you have to fish for them at a specific time, so. Wait a minute, I might... Whoa, seriously? I was getting ready to say, I might need to adjust the leader, but... I just saw something huge swim up to that. Uh, well, he changed his mind, it looks like. Nope, there he is again, guys. Holy crap. Yep, he's big. Come on, big guy. <laughs> there we go. Wow, that wasn't all that tough. <laughs> Holy crap. That was not all that tough. 96.903 pounds caught him right off the bat. That was like the easiest mission I think I've ever done of these monster fish missions. He's a big fella. Looks a little bit like a flathead with some nasty teeth. Let's take a look at him, guys. Holy crap, that's a big fish. That is a monster, all right. Let's see if... Yep. Wish we had a little more light. That's about the best we're going to be able to do, I'm afraid. But that is a monster. Alright, we'll get a picture of him. Well, that didn't take long. <laughs> I was almost a little disappointed how easy that was. Damn. Well, let's keep him. New level 46. Awesome, finally. Means I've opened up quite a few things. We got that 
larva and centipedes and pedo. Some more walkers. Ooh, some swim bait. That could be extremely useful. Some heavier floral line. This fish citadel L plus. Looks like a couple of new rods. I wonder just if they're heavier. That's what I'm hoping for. And it looks like I finally opened Octuba River, which means we've got a new place to explore in this mat in this particular game, and we will be doing so. Yes, we will. That is where you can get one of the biggest fishes fishes? One of the big fish biggest fish. I will say this right, in the game, and that is the Beluga Sturgeon. It's a monster. Anyway, it looks like we got quite a few things of gear here that we can use. Opened up a lot of these boilies too, which I've never had available to me. Have not really tried them. I'll tell you what guys, do me a favor. Ooh, there he is. He's all mounted. Two gold. I wish we had a place to put the mounts. But anyway, guys, let me know some things about the boilies. I have not fished with them. And I'm just kind of curious what's the best to use. You know, do you just give it a trial and error thing? I mean, what is it? Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that short episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.